What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today, we're gonna be checking out the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City movie trailer. And that sounds, that sounds weird to say. One, because I love Resident Evil. Two, I love Resident Evil as a video game franchise. Three, the Resident Evil movies have been like... 90% bad, 10% good, and the, the one movie I would even sit through again and watch is like, I, I don't I wouldn't even watch it fully. <laughs> and that, of course, is the first original one, which was okay. It was decent. It was in the mansion, you know, had the little creepy vibes to it, but not really. The one that had Nemesis in it was okay, a little bit okay, too, but I wasn't feeling it but all of them after that have departured away from the Resident Evil storyline. It kind of was its own thing, which... But here we are today with a brand new movie, which is quote on like a reboot of the movie franchise. And now they're digging in the crates of the games. They're literally taking stories that, you know, we grew up with and wanted to see in the movie. Now they're doing that. How well it will translate into a movie, though, is the question. And how well can they translate some of these stories into live-action movies is, again, an even greater question. Of course, with the zombies and stuff, you have to do it right. There are zombie stuff out here in the world, like Walking Dead, that are nailing it, that are doing it right. So I believe they can do it right if they get, like, the right team and stuff behind it. But zombies in general are just hard to do nowadays. I think if they got to do it, they got to do it right. Let's jump into the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City trailer. Check it out. This is the official trailer. It's not a teaser. I'll make sure my sound is all the way up. And let's hit play. Let's go for it. Come on. Exclusively in movie theaters. And we got it. Yo. Can I, can I, can I stop this? Can I stop this and throw it back? Yo, we got a liquor. And like the pre-trailer trailer. Which is dope. Which is good. It looks good. It looks good. Is that supposed to be Leon and Claire though? Every story has a beginning. This is Claire! That hunk? The origin of evil. Okay. Resident Evil 2. Oh, here, okay. Baby? Your conspiracies weren't true. Claire. Kids. They're not true now. That's Chris? We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're going to do to this town. Bro. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. People are getting sick. Bro. <laughs> the driver. You gotta help us, Claire. Let the world know what's really going on. My guy. Oh, shit. So we have to contain this. Shall we go? Yes. So it's. Is this. It's like one, two? Mix? Okay. This is where they're experimenting on him. Yep. We should split up. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go. Oh, wow, that's fire. What the? <laughs> Let's go, bro. We gotta get out of here. Yes, you do. The dogs are good, bro. Take umbrella down. The zombies look okay. What the fuck was that? I guess. That's. Oh my god, the liquor looks so good. Why does the liquor look so good? Okay, a lot to go over. A lot to go over. But my god, that was an okay looking trailer. Like. Looking back at it, like, like that was pretty good. Like, that was pretty good. Huh. Way better than I expected. 100% better than what I expected to see. I'm really liking this. <laughs> I was expecting to not be into it and just trashing it the whole review. But that's not the case. 
I'm very definitely curious. Me knowing a lot of the Resident Evil story beats, of, especially of one and two, looking at this, it looks like they're drawing heavenly on Resident Evil 1 and 2 and especially the the relationship between Claire and Chris the you know brother sister dynamic I think it's pretty cool they're leaning on it it looks like they were like trying to like that dad had something to do with it trying to warn them maybe a lot of the the tropes of, of <laughs> this guy playing Leon looks like he's like B tier actor 100% this guy in the movie I, I wonder who is he playing at first, I thought he could maybe be a Wesker, but then easily seeing the entrance when they walk into the the, the mansion, you could clearly tell the, the other guy's Wesker, the, the other light-skinned dude. Jesus Christ, bro. Is that supposed to be Rebecca, too? That's cool. That is cool. I, yes. This is cool. And this is like the infamous like zombie look back. Is that guy supposed to be Barry? The other guy? It's, it, it's crazy because I, I get it. They're trying to do the... They all look younger. A few years younger than they quote unquote are depicted in the game. And I could be wrong on that. But Jesus Christ, it does look fucking good. What is that monster? <laughs> that monster is like the only thing in the trailer. I was just like, wait, what? I see the eyes and I'm like, wait. I get what it's trying to be, and I guess Resident Evil 2 did, did Resident, I can't, I could be forgetting, but we did face something similar to this in Resident Evil 2, but it just looked like a snake monster with extra eyes when I first seen it, like, like a, a snake, and then we getting, is this Wesker on the floor right there, dead, or is that just a zombie turning, right, I'm, I'm stretching into it, and then we get another, oh, that liquor though. That liquor is just so intense. It looks so good. It looks so good. That's like the best shot right there. Leon looking up at it fall down. And it's just screaming into the camera. This is how you do a fucking Resident Evil trailer. You have elements in it that identify with fans. That, you know, you see characters. You see monsters. You see story elements that are going to pull us in. That's going to get us excited. And that does that. At the same time, I could clearly show this to my wife who has, you know, no knowledge of the Resident Evil games and she could be pulled into it as well because there are story elements here. Granted, the zombie factor of it, it might not hook all the 100% of the audience, but the story is not is kind of enough. There is a like element of like B tier movie polish on this, which I think hurts it showing it to a grand scale of a lot of people if i had to grade the trailer i'm probably going to grade it higher than a lot of people due to the fact that i just love the franchise i'm a fan of the franchise so take that in mind i am going to give it a nine and again i'm grading it high because this got me super excited for the movie and it put me in a stance that i'm like yo this is a movie to see now like <laughs> it went from like all right i see it when i see it. it's Resident evil to know we gotta see this when this drops <laughs> and it looks like it's not um gonna be is it it, it am i mistaken did it say november when is this movie coming out november 24th okay november 24th is that this year is it coming out november 24th this year i'm very excited this this got me excited this got me excited. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Am I the only crazy one that's thinking like, yo, this is going to be good? <laughs> Let me know what you think about this Resident Evil trailer in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I ain't told comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking trailers, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Mario, Pokemon, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos into recommending so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified 
on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.